Hi guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Figma versus Canva. Which is better? UI UX. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now in today's video, we will be doing a comparison between Figma and Canva. We will be showing you in UI and UX perspective, read how you will be able to present your different types of prototype projects in both Canva and Figma. So let's get started. Now Figma is a designed website that is actually specifically designed to present UI and UX. While in Canva, Canva is more on a general project type of platform where you could literally create any type of project from videos to art, any type of project because of all the different components that it has or different elements. And although it's not specifically created for the purpose of creating a website, the ability of Canva or the different features allows it to be one of a great option to be used to present a UI or a UX as well. So let's do a comparison. In Canva, you could search in the content over here. Let's search for desktop. And depending on, of course, your type of prototype, whether it's mobile or a desktop, you will have to search it over here. And as you can see, we have the desktop prototype. So simply select this. And you will also be able to see different types of template that are similar to what you're trying to do now. As you can see, there's a lot of different prototypes available right now on our screen. And you can check them out if you want some inspiration on other types of projects. So let's open one for now. We're not really going to demonstrate on creating a UI or UX. We're more on going to demonstrate and compare the different features and the different capabilities of each platform but so let's check out one of the examples that is created in canva and there we go this is the output that is created in canva this is the prototype that we are or we opened right now and it's very simple you have their template over here they have this laptop screen to work on and then they will simply build their template or their prototype in their work area over here so it's a very well done uh, prototype you will be able to see each element as you can see here i could move each element around each element is something that you will be able to edit and put together and in canva there's hundreds and thousands of different elements as you can see here on the left side you can simply search for a specific type of element you're looking for for example we could say graph and it will appear over here as you can see so this has a lot of potential to be able to create amazing ui and ux just with the sole feature elements over here. Now, when creating prototypes, you will be looking for icons, a lot of different elements, a lot of different cartoons and designs. And Canva has hundreds and thousands of those, so you can easily search it over here. Now, when I use Figma, I search for other platforms where I can get different icons like Icon or Flaticon where I have to search for the specific output or the specific style I was looking for. And once I found it in Flatigan, as you can see, because in Flatigan you will be able to like search for different type of icon, then download them. You will be able to put them together in Figma. But in Canva, you will be able to already do that all at once in the elements over here. Also, there's a lot of text or font options for you to use in Canva, which is very useful, especially these collections of fonts over here, which allows you to visualize or have an idea on the different combination of fonts. As you can see here on the left side, as I am scrolling down, then you will have an idea on what type of design you're going to put together. And a lot of the features in Canva allows you to create an amazing output like the edit image over here. There's a lot of potential and different features that you could use. As you can see, you could even have some mockups that you want. You have shadows, frames, duotone. Basically, Canva is for beginners. Not really for beginners, but a very beginner-friendly platform to you for you to start creating some prototypes. I remember some of my workmates who are really skilled with prototype. They were using Canva to build their prototype project to present to the client. While for me, I used Figma to present mine because I was more well-versed on that platform. 
but it's a very easy platform to use everything's literally in one area you will be able to find them if you spend a decent amount of time exploring the different features you will be able to master canva quite easily and another important factor or feature of canva is the upload function over here so you could simply upload any photo that you need for your prototype so for example i have this uh photo over here i can simply drag it into my page and it will automatically appear on your web area there we go then you can simply move it around adjust it and do whatever you want with it so it's very easy and you can also share it with different uh forms as you can see you can share it as a link or you could download it as you can see you can download it with different file types present it however you want that is basically how it works in canva and you're not really doing some interactions with canva you can click on the login and then something happens that's not how it works in canva canva is purely on appearance so it's more on the ux instead of the ui because the ui is the user interface face or rather this is the ui and the ux is something canva is missing because ui is the user interface which we are seeing right now this is the interface but we can't replicate a user experience we can't show an interaction between me the user and the design so without even if i click everything over here there is nothing or nothing will really react to my clicks but in figma you will be able to do that so let's open a design of mine let's open this one open in a new tab and let's open this one as well because the first design doesn't have functionality only for design and let's go check out this first design that i have in figma first now i created this design with more precision and a lot of time so i was able to produce this and let's give it some time to load i think i'm having some issues with my internet and the server with figma but either way i created my own prototype for a pos system and let's demonstrate to you or show you how i was able to build this output in figma and We'll also explore the different features and compare them with Canva side by side so that you could see the difference between how Figma works as a website and how Canva works as a design. As you can see, now this one loaded earlier. So let's give it some time. And there we go. Now let's demonstrate this one then first. As you can see, it's a lot more complicated than Figma or Canva. It's a lot more compl complicated than Canva. There are a lot of features that might be confusing, especially for beginners like local variables, local styles, export. There's prototypes over here. Even I myself at the beginning was super confused with what all of these things are and it was very difficult. And the difference between Figma is that there is a limited amount of features. Like in Canva, you will be able to put as much or use a lot of different features to build together a output over here but in figma as you can see you will be able to add like rectangles lines arrows eclipse polygons stars and like an image over here you could have pen pencil and nothing really special but figma is specifically designed for a prototype so it has to be good let me exit canva for now it's making our screen lag but there's a lot of apps that you could also upload you have plugins over here that would help you I created this sample prototype over here so let me show you the capabilities of figma in terms of being a prototype so let's present it and in this one i made some interaction between the actual uh, design so when i click on something it will actually move together so let's wait for this one to load while waiting for that let's go check out this one there we go this is the more complicated design that i have created there's a lot more things over here and uh i was able to build this by using the limited features of figma i was still able to create an amazing output although everything was completely limited for me and there wasn't really anything that i could have a freedom with using like in canva i had to get the different elements on other platforms and build them all together in our figma over here and as you can see this is my design over here you yeah, have different designs over here. I created multiple J pages, but I was able to create a very decent design. And all of this was creating through Figma. Now, Figma is a more on a professional platform because there's a lot of settings. You have to learn a lot of settings to be able to produce a very decent design. 
but once you are able to learn how to use the basics even if it's just the basics because for me i only know the basics and i was able to produce a very decent output over here just like uh what you're seeing right now and as you use figma over and over you will be able to learn it over time learn the different features and get better at it even more and you will be able to export this as different files as well you will be able to manage the different groupings over here with ease the different layers which is a bit difficult in canva and let's see the interaction with this one that i created as you can see the difference that i was explaining earlier with canva is that you won't be able to interact with your actual design or actual prototype but this one i have created it to be interactive so when i click on this it will actually change the photo as you can see so when i click this again it will change it again to another photo and again it's a bit laggy but you can see the changes as you can see it's like morphing to another product so that is the potential or the ability of figma you will have the ability to create prototypes and actual interactable websites so if you spend a long time building a website you will be able to build a functional website that you can interact with every single feature that you put in that website so it's very very useful so that's basically it if you want to be a more professional and be able to do more details and more back end part of your website go with figma or if you are just presenting a design with no real functionality you could go with canva because it's easier and faster to create that or create there but if you're trying to appear more professional go with figma so that's basically it for now guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching